An alien monster opens the door, appeared with a large army of zombies. They flooded into the human base like a tidal wave. The female warrior throws herself away from the zombies, turn around and kick the opponent's accomplice away. Unfortunately, there are too many zombies. It was quickly knocked down by the corpses and cut into pieces. Since the alien invasion a few years ago, the Earth has become a hell on Earth. Only a few refugees managed to escape to the moon and established a secret base. Now the desperate survivors are trying to save the Earth. The base selected three heroes. Fight the Earth invaders. They are the Hay, Laobai, and Xiaomei, respectively. All of these three people look out of place, but it has indeed gone through systematic screening. The Emperor prepared armor for them. This is a bionic enhanced body protection system. It can protect the user from bullets, small laser, and harm from biochemicals. Besides, there is also a communication system inside the helmet. The person in charge of the base warned the three people. Aliens occupying Earth, a type of warrior called a sentinel. It's a pity that the base doesn't know them well. After explaining everything, the three of them officially hit the road. They left the moon in a specially designed aircraft. Seeing that we are getting closer and closer to our former home, Shopai suddenly stuffed something into the console. It turns out that the base manager's plan its not just as simple as bringing them back to Earth, but to distort time through gravity, so as to achieve the effect of time travel. In short, they must go back to the past, plan to stop alien invasion, but subatomic particles in the human body need to find space so that they won't be squashed. So Laobai specially prepared the neutron bomb jumping skill. After he said that, he took a shot in his neck. Shame and the Hay also followed suit. As the spacecraft gradually approaches the Earth, a huge pressure. The force is coming. The head and sides of the spacecraft are like red hot iron blocks. He meant red light. It could also be clearly felt in the cabin. Distortion and deformation of space. The spacecraft is about to enter the atmosphere. Half the hull was burned red. The light of the subtitles keeps flashing. The spaceship burst into the Earth with sparks and lightning. The three of them seem to have entered some kind of wormhole. A blue tunnel appears in front of you. Then his eyes went dark and he lost consciousness. And inside the base of the moon, the spacecraft completely lost contact. According to the final data, the spacecraft has deviated from its original target. It is 20 kilometers away from the fortress. The president soon learns that the plan to save the Earth has failed. The person in charge was worried that he would come and shut down the lab. Just ask the assistant to copy all the data on a hard drive. Then destroy the original data. Sure enough, it didn't take long. The president sent people over to search the laboratory. The person in charge and assistants changed their armor in time. Special forces broke through the gate in an instant. The person in charge saw this and smashed the glass the with his back The pressure within the base instantly became unbalanced. The special forces ducked and hid behind a security the door. The person in charge and his assistant took the opportunity the to leave. The two are convinced that the three time travelers are still alive. So I came to the bar where there was a mix of good and bad people. I found a few reliable hackers. They planned to go to the far end of District 3. Find an abandoned transmitter. Reconnect with the time traveler. Lao Bai on the other side woke up first. Two teammates are not with him. Lao Bai started the scanner to check the surrounding area. Found this place to be an abandoned warehouse. He tried to contact his teammates via helmet comms. Unfortunately, no reply was received. Lao Bai speculated that he was in a fortress as Su Nai. He pushed open the small door on the side and looked for the center of the fortress. At the same time, the Hay woke up in a wasteland. The electrical storm above is roaring. Carrying a gun, he walked into a nearby. Construction the Hay found an iron fence on the ground. So I cut it with a laser. Then he jumped inside to investigate. Marked the path with a laser. At the same time, Shame also regained consciousness. He took off his helmet and breath there. But the Earth's air pollution is too serious. It's not as beautiful as Shame imagined. He is different from his two teammates. Actually fell to the edge of the city. Shame kept moving forward along the road. Soon I saw traces of human life. And corpses that have long since turned into withered bones. He cautiously approached the vehicle in front of him. Found a humanoid monster inside. Looks like a virus-infected zombie. Shame touched his chest with the muzzle of her gun. Who knows the next second zombies will suddenly appear. He still grabbed Shame's muzzle and wouldn't let go. Then his accomplices came out of the darkness. Keep getting closer this way. 
Xiaomei took out a pistol and fired several bullets. As a result, they were all dodged by zombies. I don't know if it's because his shooting skills are so bad. Or are zombies too flexible? ZMEI had to blow the heads of the zombies in the car first. Unexpectedly, the dark-colored zombies took the opportunity to pounce on them. Pressed Xiaomei to the ground. This zombie is extremely powerful. Xiaomei can't get away. He simply activated the mechanism on his wrist guard. Successfully smashed the zombie's head. Xiaomei continues to search forward. He's in a shabby car dealership. Found the perfect arresting tool. Xiaomei opened the seat of the motorcycle, riding him towards the fortress. Along the way, electrical storms kept hitting the ground. If you are not careful, you will be exploded into popcorn. The screen changes. Return to Lao Bai again. He is still moving forward in the long and narrow concrete swimming lane. Finally found the second door. It turned out there was nothing in it, and the passage behind the door becomes even narrower. Fortunately, Lao Bai finally got in touch with Dahe and the two of them are getting closer to each other. At this time, Laobai detects the appearance of life forms. He slowly approached the figure in front of him. Unexpectedly, the old man in front of me suddenly opened his mouth and screamed. Laobai's wristband sounds an alarm. It seems like something is waking up. The next second, a large wave of zombies came. Shabai quickly turned around and ran back. He ran outside the door and shouted to lock the door. At the same time, warriors called sentinels awaken. Laobai returns to the abandoned factory At again. this time, a black shadow flashed not far away. He turned off the flashlight and carefully checked, but didn't find anything strange. Laobai breathed a sigh of relief. Just about to turn around. As a result, I bumped into a sentry. He hurriedly ducked to avoid the attack. I saw the sentry's arm emitting lasers. Cut the pipe directly in front of you. This operation is really confusing. Laobai was obviously lying on the ground. The sentry kept attacking the pipe. Really hard work is in vain. Lao Bai is hiding behind a few broken pipes at the moment. The sentry was stunned but didn't notice him. He even left the factory without looking away. The sentinel just left. A female warrior came on the back foot. He motioned to Lao Bai to follow him. But they came to a human base. Lao Bai never thought there were still living people on Earth. The commander took Lao Bai's pistol. He has never seen such a weapon. I don't believe there is a base on the moon either. Whoa, 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 where I'm on the same side. Laobai said that this kind of equipment can be used to deal with sentries. He wants to join the commander and fight together. Of course the latter will not refuse. In the last days, manpower is the most precious resource. Laobai follows the commander. He found several glass cabinets with numbers on them. A large number of humans are imprisoned inside. The outer layer of the glass is also attached with flesh-colored vines. A female warrior said these were infectious pods. Once infected by the virus, you will lose your sense of self like a zombie at the disposal of the sentinels. So in order to expand the army, the sentry will capture people everywhere. Locked up sentries always guard the prisoners. I didn't expect that he wouldn't be here this time. It's just that we haven't waited for everyone to start the rescue yet. About the prisoner's cage suddenly sinking and the sentinel hidden underground. Back to the place where I slept. It stirs up infectious pods underground. Countless viruses poured into the cage. They get into people's mouths and noses, spread rapidly. This group of prisoners instantly became ordered puppets. At the same time, they came near the fortress. Logically speaking, the fortress is only such a big place. Why haven't the three of us met yet? The reason soon emerged. At this time, the person in charge of the base, with the help of required time traveler information. He was surprised to find these three people actually fell into different timelines. Labai is located in 2140. The Hay into 160. Xiaomei's current timeline. No wonder Laobai met those human organizations. Because he was in the earliest timeline. At this moment, Laobai is preparing to blow up the cave to save people. Infected zombies broke into the door. The commander quickly led his men to shoot together. Zombies have completely become living targets. All of them rushed to die. They are obviously not as smart as the zombies Xiaomei encountered. These newly infected people have no intelligence at all. Xiaomei quickly helped everyone blow up the cage, rescued the commander's family. Everyone is planning to retreat. Unexpectedly, the sentry suddenly appeared. He pushed open the iron door, leading the zombie army to kill. The female warrior and her companions are responsible for the, the lions. Unfortunately, there are too many enemies. There are always a few fish that slip through the net and jump in front of you. A soldier kicked away the zombies in front of him. 
but the next second he was knocked down by another one. I saw more and more zombies coming over. Tear it into pieces alive. The Hay and Xiaomei on the other side all came to the Delta area, and the communication was reconnected, but because their timelines are different. The environment in the Delta is also different. The two of them walked around in a circle. No sign of the other party was found. Only then did I guess that there was something wrong with the time jump. The Hay left a mark on the pole in Area 19. Xiaomei's hardcore. Sure enough, the same pattern appeared. And there were guns covered in weeds on the ground. There was what was left after the female warrior was killed in 2140. Three people in the same position, but not at the same time. On the other side, Lao Bai and others are fighting fiercely. Ordinary with the bullets cannot harm aliens. This war was almost a one sided massacre. The sentry can cut off a person's head with a wave of his hand, not to mention he could also shoot lasers. The commander yelled angrily, Rush over with a gun. He's dodging the laser. Approaching the sentry. Lao Bai speculates that sentinels can share vision with zombies. So I use zombies to draw his attention away. By time for the commander to escape. The sentry heard the sound. Sure enough, he walked towards Lao Bai. At the same time, the Hei and Xiaomei are also standing in the same position. Three time travelers encountered sentinels from different timelines. They raised their weapons together. Fire at the sentries in front of you. But it's not that easy to defeat the big boss. All three were hit by the sentinel's laser. Lao Bai was even pierced by the opponent's sharp claws. He simply detonated the bomb, destroy the sentinel's laser firing arm. Xiaomei and the Hei from the other two times immediately discovered that the sentinel's laser was missing. They took the opportunity to launch a second round but of attacks. But the Hei even beat the sentinel's head to pieces. Didn't kill the opponent either. He was beaten unconscious by the sentry instead. Seeing Xiaomei in another timeline, he will also be brutally attacked. The Hei, who is decades older, suddenly appears, saved from the sentinels. Xiaomei and the two quickly escape from the fortress. It turns out that after the Hei escaped from the sentry, they've been waiting on Earth. Until it comes to the time where Xiaomei is. And the person in charge of the unknown situation Watching at this Watching the moment, time traveler go offline. Unavoidably fell into deep despair. But a more terrible disaster is coming. Sentinel based on time traveler helmet information. Fight all the way to the moon. Seeing that everyone in the base is about to be slaughtered, an old man appeared carrying a homemade weapon. Good guy, the big boss is offline now. The president received news of the Sentinel's death. Immediately hold a press conference happily. As everyone knows, the sentry on the ground is slowly opening his eyes. And the other side, the Hei and Xiaomei, who stayed on Earth, made up their minds. We must go back to the past to save Lao Bai. The video ends here. It's hard to imagine that this can be called a science fiction film. Rough set. Little known actor. And special effects costumes comparable to Ultraman monsters. All are shown. This is a small, low-cost production. Although it is difficult for a small production to produce this a one good is film. really not up to par. Logic confusion. The story doesn't hold up. Compared to science fiction movies, might as well work hard to make a movie about monsters.